How to get an understanding of the God we say we serve. He's bigger than we think. He looks at Abraham and Sarah. They were beyond logic of having a child. Beyond the years of childbearing. And he looks at them and says, in other words, what's too difficult for me to do? If I can create all those galaxies that you don't even know about, what's a womb that I can't put a baby in? You remember when he went to Mary, the angel went to Mary and told her that she was going to be with child and carry the Savior? Luke 137, when Mary wondered how a virgin could bear a child, the angel addressed her squarely and says, nothing will be impossible. think of that verse when you see your situation when you think about that problem in your life the angel says to us today nothing will be impossible for God the God you serve I don't care how big it is I don't care how the situation looks it looks the doctor's report it doesn't matter he says nothing will be impossible for the God that you and I serve. I'm telling you, whatever the mountain of the situation is that you're facing, whatever that challenge is that seems like it's killing you, whatever the circumstances is, you got to look at the circumstance and say, nothing is impossible for my God. Nothing. He can do anything. He creates out of nothing. He just speaks it and it is so. When I understand the kind of God that I say I serve, I move differently. I process differently. I go through problems differently. My perspectives are changed because I'm viewing my situation through the lens of the God that I know and serve. So all of a sudden, the thing that looks so big, yes, it looks big when I view it through my own carnal eyes, but when I pull out and view it through the eyes of Elohim, I realize that it's a small thing to the mighty God that I serve. Amen.